This is uh, universal vision. Uh, not that God is sitting uh, in your heart and not in the cat's heart or dog's heart or cow's heart. He is sitting everyone's heart. It is said sarvahutana. Sarvahuta means all living entities. He is sitting in human heart. He is sitting in the ant's heart. He is sitting in the dog's heart. He is sitting in everyone's heart. But the cats and dogs, they cannot realize. That is the divine. But a human being, if he tries, if he follows the yoga system, Sankha yoga system, Bhakti yoga system, then he is able to find out. That is the prerogative of this human form of life. And if we miss this opportunity, if we don't find out, if we don't identify our existence with the Lord, then we are missing this opportunity. Ah. Ah. Uh, this, after the evolutionary process, coming through eight uh, million four hundred thousand species of life, when we get this human form of life, if we miss this opportunity, uh, then how much uh, loss we suffer, you do not know. So we should be conscious about that. Uh, we should not miss this opportunity. Uh, we have got very nice body, human form of body, intelligence, and civilized life. We are not like animals. Uh, we can uh, think uh, peacefully. We have no so hard struggle for life as the animals. So we should utilize. That is the uh, instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. Don't uh, lose this opportunity. Uh, utilize it properly. Go on. Verse 33. Arjuna said, O Madhusudana, the system of yoga which you have summarized appears impractical and unendurable to me. For the mind is restless and unsteady. Now here is the uh, crucial test of yoga system. If you can concentrate your mind uh, on the form of Vishnu, the process has been described previously that you have to sit like this, you have to look like this, you have to live like this. So many things we have already discussed. But Arjun says that it is very difficult for me. Hmm. We have to understand this point. Uh, he says, O oh, Madhusudana, uh, the system of yoga which you have summarized, this system is called Astanga yoga. Astanga yoga, eight uh, different uh, parts. Jyam niyam, uh, first of all, uh, controlling the senses, following the rules and regulation, then practicing the seating posture, then exercising uh, the breathing process, uh, then concentrate your mind, uh, then be absorbed in the form. There are eight processes, Ashtanga Yoga. So, Arjun says, this Ashtanga Yoga system uh, is very difficult. Uh, he says that mm, impractical, appears, not impractical, for him. Uh, 
just uh, it is not impractical. If it is impractical, then Krishna would not have described and taken so much trouble. It is not impractical. But as yet, what one thing may be impractical for me, but practical for you, oh, that is a different thing. But generally, this system is impractical uh, for ordinary common man. Arjuna is representing himself as a common man in the sense that he was not a, a mendicant or he has renounced his family life or he has no connection with his bread problem because he was on the war field to fight for the kingdom. So he is supposed to be an ordinary man. So for an ordinary man, who are engaged in this worldly activities for handling livelihood, family life, children, wife, or so many problems. It is not practical. That is the point here. It is practical for one who has already renounced everything, completely in a secluded, sacred place, just lying in the hill or in the cave of a hill, alone, no public disturbance. So where is the opportunity for ordinary man, for us, especially in this age? Therefore this yoga system is not practical. It is admitted by Arjun, who was a great warrior, and he was so advanced, he belonged to the royal family, and very expert in so many things. He says that it is impractical. Just try to understand. And what we are in comparison to Arjuna, if we try this system, oh, it is not possible. Failure is sure. Go on, reading the part part. The system of mysticism described by Lord Krishna to Arjuna is here being rejected by Arjuna. Yes, rejected. Or John. Yes. Out of a feeling of inability, it is not possible for an ordinary man to leave home and go to a secluded place in the mountains or jungles to practice yoga in this age of Kali. The present age is characterized by bitter struggle for, for a life of short duration. Yes. First of all, our duration life is very short. If you study the statistics, uh, you can see your forefathers who live for hundred years or eighty years, ninety years now, uh, sixty years, seventy years, uh, people are dying. Gradually it will decrease. In this age, the memory, the duration of life, mercifulness, uh, so many things will decrease. That is the symptom of this age. Wow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare. 